All right, guys, this is Jernigan here. I'm watching a film on Netflix called Town. Uh, can Russell bank robbery dude and violent uh, temper hits a roadblock uh, bank manager Carl Human kidnaps drug during their last heist. So this film's about um, robbing banks, if you're into that sort of thing. But I'm um, not talking about robbing banks on a film. Some people like that on Netflix. Everybody likes gun films. Some people like comedy and drama. But uh, what well, I'm trying to get to here, it's a pain in the ass when you're trying to delete an app on your phone. I've got an itchy nose again. I don't know if you guys have had the same problem. I've had to take... It's taken me like an hour and a half to figure out at 84... Abs downloaded in my phone, and now I've deleted them off, and now the video should run a lot smoother, and it won't slow anything down. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. I'm drinking the beer again. I know, I'm naughty. Can't help myself. I just got to keep drinking. I can't get your bloody nose again. But anyway, I've, I've figured it out. It's taken a while, but uh, we can sit here and talk for a bit if you guys want, and new people to join my broadcast, and new subscribers, and try and understand the world of this coronavirus. I know I keep saying corona, it's like Brexit every time, but uh, it's gone up to 6,000. How more higher will it go? 7, 8,000, 9, 10, 11? Will we, ever, will, will we ever, ever take over Italy in the numbers? India, I've got it bad. Japan has just started with it. Um, China is on top, but they have a second outbreak. Um, South Africa, he's got it as well. Coronavirus. All these countries, I'm talking about coronavirus. The UK is still in lockdown. We've had two weeks already of lockdown. This is the third week in the UK of lockdown. Let's see here. A third, yes. I said the third people. America's got a bad, New York's got a bad on lockdown. This, the thing that annoys me, I tell you guys and people, they think they've got a hold of this coronavirus, which they haven't. And there'll be people out there behind this screen here saying, how do you know about this? Well, I know quite a few things. Because I study the things, I think the things, and I'm not like most people. It's not going to get better yet, even in Germany. Terrible. Italy, bad. Australia, getting better. But could, could it go to more countries? It could get better. Could be a second outbreak. What I'm getting at is here, we're living in strange times. It's very sad, and I just wish they'd come up with a vaccine. It's annoying everybody, this lockdown, especially when people don't have a garden, nowhere to sit in. Or they have to go to the park to do their exercises, or once a day, or get in the shopping. And, pe and there's probably police that are pulling people over, left, right, and centre across the world and the country. Why are you out at this time? Where are you going? That can get very intimidating for some people. I mean, how would the police like it if people pulled them over, the police, and asked them where they would like where they're going, what they're doing? They wouldn't like it at all. But we are in strange times, and they're trying to look after all of us people in the UK and any other country in the world. But you can understand that. Some people will make it through this. We're going to have to try very hard and help each other and be nice to each other and kind to each other, even though it's hard some of the time. But uh, it's like living in a war zone, as I say many times. Social distancing, no touching people, means no hugs, no shaking hands, no kissing if people wanted to kiss their own partners and stuff and girlfriends and family members or... Like I say, um, people want to get a girlfriend, they can't get one because of social distancing. Because people that want to get a girlfriend and a guy wants to get a girl. And a woman wants to, a woman wants to get a man is going to find it very hard with the social distancing. But some people break the rules, is what I'm trying to say. My words are being very fast. What is this world going to? I like to say things are getting better, but they're getting worse. We lost a lot of people, and most of these people that have died are innocent people, probably great people, probably nice people. Everybody has their own problems and their own thoughts. 
Uh, what else can I say in this video? I know I keep shaking my head, but I'm just annoyed with where the situation is in the world at the moment, like most people. I tried to help this woman out at the co-op where I live. I can't really mention what area the co-op is because it's private to me. I live in the UK, as most of you people know. I went to a co-op in the UK and this woman was very upset and distraught that there was no gloves, no masks in the co-op for the food in you know for the food in the store because she wanted to have more protection. Once this virus gets hold of you, it's going to kill you. Or some people, or some people have a bad flu, like Boris Johnson's in intensive care. I spoke to this woman, me being a nice person that I am. Most of my friends said, most of my friends said, fair play to you for going up to her and talking to her. I said, try not to worry, but some people would say, what's the point of saying that to her? But I didn't know what else to say to her. I didn't want to be horrible. I'm like, I didn't want to be nasty. Even though I know I get aggressive on my games, but that's different because I'm trying to get to the next level. But uh, I tried to said to her, don't worry about it. Uh, she was worrying about, uh, she was effing and jeffing and swearing, saying like, uh, oh, she's gone on about all sorts of things. She's smoking outside the co-op in the UK. If you guys don't know what a co-op is, it's a shop where you buy food and groceries from. Um, I hope she's going to be okay, but... Uh, the world is making the people go crazy, thinking strange things. They're not acknowledging people as well as they used to. Even though people have to wear masks because of the um, coronavirus. Like I say, I don't have a mask. Some people probably have better masks than this. This is the mask I have to protect me from coronavirus. Some people may laugh and think it's a joke. Other people may have a better one. At least it's got a filter at the end. This is a thing what you paint with. In your living room. And I've been wearing this. It's got a filter in it. So I can breathe in it. And all sorts of things. So people may think it's silly to wear this. Or buy a better one. The two thing is. How are you supposed to buy better things. When there's a coronavirus on. You can't can you. You have to make do with what you've got. It's like being in a war zone. Make do with what you've got. There's always that one person. That has to push it further. But anyway. I better go. Thank you for joining me. And I will catch you in the next one. And hit that notification bell. Always helps me do another video. Thank you, Joey. Peace.